Hey, it's Cole Kirkpatrick, and in this video, I'm gonna give you my riding impressions with a TSP cylinder head and ERM module on my 2024 KTM 300 XCW. About three weeks ago, I took delivery of this 2024 KTM 300 XCW. I was really, really, really looking forward to getting this bike. I rode it at the KTM press launch that took place in May of 2023. And ever since then, I was really looking forward to having one at the house to dive into and kind of learn a new bike. I've always been a two-stroke guy and pretty much the last seven years, I've spent most of my time on the XCW platform. The PDS chassis is something that I really am fond of. I like the front end traction that it provides and it really just works great for a lot of the riding that I do. I do go to the motocross track from time to time. I still ride the PDS bike. So this video is more focused on the TSP cylinder head and the ERM module. I called the guys at Slavens up after I first kind of rode this 300 XCW, I was honestly expecting it to have a little bit more power. Uh, I rode a friend's 300 XC and that bike was extremely exciting, had a ton of power. Uh, if you saw the video, you know my initial impressions of it, I was blown away. And when I rode the 300 XCW for the first time, I was a little bit surprised at how smooth the power was. It was very manageable and I think in a lot of scenarios, the smoother is faster is gonna apply but I did want a little bit more hit. I wanted a little bit more pull initially just to get me out of the corners. And in the event that I saw a log I needed to jump or some braking bumps I wanted to hop over, I wanted a little bit more power. I rode the bike, I broke it in, and then I ended up racing it at the T-Sec Sandwinder Enduro. And it was pretty much in stock form as far as the motor goes. I had added my suspension, all of my gnarly roots, kit and parts that I put on the bikes to outfit them for the season of riding and racing. I had built the bike out that way. I changed the gearing, went to a 49 on the rear, and I ran a shorter Akrapovich silencer at the time just to wake the power up. I did try the SX dome that fits into the OEM head. It was a snug fit. There's a lot of stuff online that says it doesn't work, but I had zero issues getting it mounted and racing with it. I rode it really hard in the sand. I had no issues, but I did notice whenever I took the SX dome and the OEM head off of this bike to put in a TSP unit, that the inner O-ring was pretty hard for such a small amount of time. And so it's not something anymore that I would recommend the SX dome just because it might prematurely damage the motor. Again, I did not have any bad knocking. I did not have any uh, cracking. I had, had no signs of that. The bike ran strong all during the race uh, on the under the load that I put it under, which is pretty significant. But uh, when I did inspect it, it just, I did not like the way that inner O-ring looked. And so uh, I put the TSP head on, it mounted up really easily. But before I get into that part of it, one of the first things I did was reach out to the guys at Slavens Racing. I didn't have a relationship with them. I've ordered parts with them from time to time in the past. They're always putting out stuff. They're always testing, tuning. They, uh, to me, they, they kind of specialize in making bikes really rideable for the trail riding application. And so I thought that they would have some knowledge on some different options that I could do to make this bike run a little bit stronger. And I connected with uh, Alec at Slavens. We caught up. Turns out he had raced some Texas Enduros a long time ago when I was much younger than I am now. And it was really fun chatting with him about that. But he had a lot of really good information and insight to share with me on this motorcycle. And he ended up sending me the TSP cylinder head with a medium dome. And then he also sent me the TSP ERM module. And out of the box, the stuff was really impressive. I've seen a lot of cylinder heads, a lot of domes but um, this was really just your, your standard cylinder head and dome, but it's, it's made for this 2024 KTM 300 XCW. And the thing that I was the most impressed with was the ERM module. The, the finish on it, the build quality was very impressive. I didn't know too much about tuning these bikes and the TPI models. I had done some tunes on a few different bikes. The last year model that I had, I just got a really good one off the showroom and I was really happy with how that bike ran. But for me, uh, with my history of riding two strokes, especially the carbureted models, I always like to fine tune the power and that was something that I missed on the TPI version of the bikes. You were kind of limited to adjusting the power valve and they, KTM really only recommended, you know, not even messing with that. So with all that being said, uh, I did want to try 
what the cylinder head from TSP, what that felt like first without doing the ERM flash be, or the ECU flash because I wanted to provide some insight if, if you're somebody that doesn't want to go and spend, you know, say between $800 and $1,000 for everything, I wanted to figure out which was the best bang for your buck. And I did notice a slight power increase on the, the medium compression dome from TSP. I did not want to run race gas and that's the reason I didn't go with the high compression cylinder head. I like being able to run pump gas. I go to the same gas station every time. I run 93 pump, it works, it works fine. So I did not want to have to get out of that routine. So with a with a stock ECU tune, the bike it did wake the bike up off the bottom a little bit, but I was still wanting a little bit more. And when I plugged in the ERM tool, uh, first things first, the TSP guys they've they've built a, a, an incredible database of knowledge on their website. So if you have the TSP ERM, you can log in. There's a complete guide to walk through. Spend your time reading through everything, and if you do all the steps that they have lined out. The pairing process is extremely straightforward and easy, but it's still a little bit intimidating thinking about tuning an ECU, and they've made it really easy, depending on the modes that you're in, to not adjust the parameters so far that it can damage a motor or have an adverse effect. For me, you know, I, I was very, I would go very small adjustments just so that I could feel something, and especially if you're going leaner or advancing the timing doing anything that the module indicates in red, go very, very small increments first so you can feel the change. And also the, the leaner you go, the, the hotter the bike's gonna run and the, the more your chances of uh, engine, engine failure are gonna increase. So with the ERM, I just did the straight TSP tune first and it was a noticeable improvement over the stock ECU tune much better pickup. I could use third a lot more in places, a lot more exciting to ride. The bike would still run very low in the RPM range and pull if you were riding more hard enduro or really technical terrain. But for me, what I was riding, I would consider to be more just your traditional enduro terrain, just rough, bumpy, single track. Uh, just, I wanted quick, usable power to get me from corner to corner and also to get me over obstacles. I took that a step further, the, the, the ERM, what I noticed made the biggest difference is I modified the TSP ECU tune just to open up the power valve a little bit sooner. And for me, I could not believe how much just one, one notch uh, in different RPM ranges, and then I went to two and a couple. It made the bike so much faster. Uh, so much so that once the place that I rode uh, had started to dry out, it was too fast. I was getting too much wheel spin. Uh, the bike just wasn't hooking up and driving forward, and so I was able to detune it a little bit. And for me, the best bang for your buck on improving the power delivery on the 300 XCW is that ERM module. You can, you, you can plug it in and it gives you a ton of range to adjust different things. I'm not gonna do a deep dive on all of the settings and all of the different things you can change because I'm still learning it myself. Like I said, I came from a background of tuning carburetors and, and always being able to adjust exactly what I wanted where and I knew what it would do. And so I'm still learning how the ERM module affects the power delivery and, and what parameters uh, change the part of the RPM range and throttle response that I want. So I want to give a big shout out to the guys at Slavens Racing. They're really knowledgeable. They carry the TSP product. So please reach out to them if you want more information, if you want to order. I'll put links in the description and on the video and want to give them a big shout out. They were awesome to work with and I just, I feel really thankful that they were able to get me this stuff to try on the bike and then I could relay my experience to you. It's really cool right now that we live in a day and age of the technology where you can plug in the ERM module onto the bike. I do understand that in some regard, when you're buying a bike that is over $10,000 and taking it off the showroom floor, the thought of having to spend 500 more dollars to wake it up um, can be a little bit of a turnoff. But this, this module really, really unlocks the potential of the, the motor and the ECU pretty big power difference between the XCW and the XC range of motorcycles. So if you're kind of looking for that in-between zone, the uh, ERM module will really, really excite, um, add excitement to the motor and the power delivery. I like it because it's made it a lot easier to get over little obstacles, bumps, different things in the trail. 
you have any questions, let me know. This bike is definitely broken in now, a lot dirtier than it was on the build video that I posted before. So thanks for watching. Like I said, reach out to the guys at Slavens Racing for more info and to order the TSP kit for your motorcycle. I'm gonna shut up and ride a little bit. Just trail riding right now, so not racing pace or anything. You can hear his motor work. OEM pipe with Trumpet silencer. I am running it in the green map.